Good morning. It's gonna be a busy one. Buy it a dollar. So what we're gonna be doing today is top dressing our corn. So we gotta hook up the high wheel right here. Now we do this because it's kind of a form of insurance. Instead of putting all your urea out front, say you get a really big rain and it washes your nitrogen too deep, or you don't get a rain at all and it all volatilizes, you just put a lot of money out there. So we do it in two halves, that way we're more likely to get better conditions for one of those halves. Also, the corn needs nitrogen later in the season, and so we want to apply some early in the season and later in the season. It's a lot more work, and plus you gotta try to stay between the rows, but we're hoping for better use of our nitrogen, which is expensive, and uh, trying to get better yield. I think old timey farmers would quit if they had to look at this. So we're kind of reluctantly spreading today. There's really no rain in the forecast and this urea, it needs to be washed in. Otherwise, just sitting on top of the soil, especially when it's hot and humid, it volatilizes and it goes back up in the atmosphere. Well, we paid a lot of money for this. The problem is the corn's getting too tall. So if we wait even another week, we might start snapping corn off because it's hitting the bottom of the tractor. And so we're kind of up again, as they say. We're spreading, not because we got a rain in sight, but because the corn is forcing us to since it's so tall. And we got someone showing up here pretty soon with a trailer in our loadouts right there. So we're gonna have to drive our conveyor out of the way. So urea is usually white, but we got it painted green because we really like John Deere. <laughs> That's not why. We actually put a substance on there, pretty expensive, so it doesn't volatilize as much. So, you know, we. We put more money on the stuff, hoping that we lose less money. Fertilize mom's lawn a little bit. Hit a ride. So we're headed down to the first field. I'm sure dad's pretty excited. Last year, dad did all the top dressing because I had just had knee surgery and so I couldn't even really clutch with that foot. So I'm sure he's kind of excited this year that I get to do some and he doesn't have to do it all himself. So right here, if you can see it, the stand is really bad. If you remember, we had all those really just horrible winds for like a month straight. And so we had a bunch of old crop covering up. We had a hard time getting the seed into the soil at the right depth because of all that. It was basically <laughs> piles of corn stover. Over there, it's better because number one we're not right next to the fence and we also adjusted the planter uh this was our first field yeah, we planted it i was just thinking that unfortunately the biggest issue was the first field and i didn't make adjustments quite quick enough but it's not too far you know and then it gets real good and actually it's not all the way across the field either in certain spots so yeah. it's like right here it's kind of a low spot and so all that stuff piled in and so that wasn't very great but now it's good again so. so he's got enough in there to do about 90 acres so he'll be back home in about an hour and a half and we'll take care of some stuff
I got the roots and there is a little bit of moisture down there you can see you can see all the little pellets of urea now all we can do is hope for a rain before we drive the conveyor back under the semi it could use a little grease we've been hauling a decent amount of corn with it the last couple weeks There's not very many conveyors out there that you can lower the bearing down to you. So right now the goal is to get this spread do about half of our corn acres and we're doing the taller stuff right now and hoping we can wait longer to do the later stuff get closer to a rain unfortunately the forecast is not looking it's looking dry and warm which is nice if you're trying to go boating See, they're doing a pool day we're trying to get our fertilizer into the root zone tractor hasn't done anything since planting but that's gonna change here in a week or two Not that one. Draw bar back in. That's a little worse than taking off and putting on the clevis. Doing the whole draw bar. Uh, I haven't talked about it, but we have a pretty sweet demo coming in the next couple weeks. And uh, you'll see it when it comes. It'll be fun. It'll be hooked up to this tractor. We got done with lunch Cole said what am I gonna do I said you better find something to do because I'm going to the field I think I'm gonna go to town 
Um, Buy myself a jet ski and just screw around. Sounds like a plan to me. There goes the farm. I'm gonna go gamble. <laughs> you know, this is kind of a crazy life that I lead. You look at this corn crop, and there's as much potential there as we possibly have ever had. And yet the leaves are curling, and there isn't enough feed there to put up to feed a cow in the winter right now either. So, you know, you don't know if you're going to hit a home run or watch call third strike come right across the plate. I guess it's worked out enough times over the years that it's been a good life. You got to have hope, you got to have faith, and uh, it looks like, you know, you try to do everything you can and the rest is in God's hands. So I'm just enjoying seeing all of my corn acres today because I'm uh, top dressing, which is just putting more fertilizer out on top of the corn. If it doesn't rain, it doesn't do us any good. And if it does, it could be really, really good. So I'm just uh, doing what I'm supposed to do and hoping for the best. Coal is spraying some pastures, I think. Yeah, the corn's showing a little heat stress today. The beans are really short this year. They're behind. I think the corn's coming on pretty well. So we'll just keep plugging away here. I don't have a whole lot to say except the song of the day. back I sprayed some pasture I'm sure you didn't care to see that you're probably getting sick of it just like I am we got a full spreader I'm gonna hop into a different field dad didn't quite finish that one ran out of fertilizer but then he'll take back over and finish it and then I'll do one more field tonight get this fertilizer spreader empty tight squeeze We're doing it. This is some dang good looking corn. Now if only we could get a rain in the next couple days. comment now but aren't you running over some corn somebody will ask well yes sir we are in fact running over some corn but clearly we think the added benefit from split applying and putting on nitrogen later in season will outweigh the fact that we're running over a few hundred plants every field but I suppose the fuel makes it up to 10 15 20 dollars a gallon we might switch back and just do one application and put it all on one pass so we don't have to come out and drive to the field twice and drive through the field twice because that would cost a lot in fuel there's a heck of a trench in there
there's a deer sitting by that lone tree right there. It's been watching me the whole time. Just hanging out under the shade. Now that is some good corn right there. Look at that. Woo -wee. We have a 60% chance of showers, maybe some thunderstorm activity for Friday night. Low sink again. Yeah! And there we are. So now we'll go meet Dad. He's going to finish that field he started and ran out of fur at. And then we'll take back over and do one more field. You know that deer I was talking about earlier? There it is. Just having a grand old time. Running around, eating corn. Hopping in a bean field. Get a job, you hippie. So, a uh, really good friend of mine who's also a lay pastor asked me a while back if Brian, could you do a hymnal for, or do your favorite hymnal for the song of the day? I said, absolutely, I can do that. So the song of the day today, which is one of my top two favorite hymnals, is Nearer Thy God to Thee. Have a listen. I hope that the entire crop doesn't fit in that bin this year. That would be bad. I can't talk about gospel hymns, though, without mentioning the old rugged cross. I don't know why I didn't think of that when I said that first one, which is also a popular one for me that I really like, but I would say the best one I've ever heard is the old rugged cross. All right, let's see if the rest of this fits. all fit so I guess we'll have a little bit more to do tomorrow Baby deer, always running. Oh, there he goes. My little buddy, so cute. I just want to squeeze it. You ever read that book of mice and men? Of men and mice? Of mice and men, I think. Old Lenny. I bet he'd like to squeeze that deer. We're about half done. This is some pretty dang good looking corn as well. go off into the sunset. Well, Dad ate supper without me, so I guess it's my turn now. No. Warm everything back up. No. What do you mean, no? Ate it all. You ate all the food. Yep. But yeah, you gotta warm it back up, okay. I reckon. Well, we got a decent amount of corn doings done, and hopefully it rains soon now. Yeah, that'd be good. Ellie, is it gonna rain? What do you mean you don't know stuff? All right, we'll see you next time. You know how you know if it's raining. If your dog's wet. Doggy. Okay.